I think this is the first year that it's very important to probably start early on your preparations for hurricane season this year in 2022. There's just a lot of stuff that's going on. And the funny thing was, as I was doing my research, There's only four states that will give you a tax-free holiday for hurricane preparedness. And most of them are a joke, except for one. And a lot of states get affected by hurricanes every year. So why don't they give their people the opportunity to prepare and take a little money off the tax end so maybe they can afford a generator or something? I don't know. This just doesn't make any sense to me. Alabama. All right, they had their tax sale back in February. It was the 25th and the 27th. Um, and you could stock up on things at that point in time. So it was basically a three-day tax sale, which isn't too bad, all right? Louisiana, all right, their tax sale is actually coming up Memorial Day weekend, the 26th through the 27th. Uh, the funny thing about Louisiana is, <laughs> They say they're giving you a tax break, but you're only going to pay 3% of tax instead of the full 5%. So they give you 2% off. Wow, that really helps a lot of people out in this time, doesn't it? Uh, Texas, theirs is actually this weekend. I'm shooting a video now. It runs through Monday. This video will come out on Monday. So if you're watching this video, you have till midnight tonight to, to go and stock up on all your supplies and everything. And they actually have some pretty good tax rebates. Uh, generators up to like $3,000 and this type of stuff. So, hey, it's a good thing to do. Um, now we're going to get to the best one. All right, Florida. Now, yeah, I live in Florida. But Florida does it right. All right especially when it comes to hurricane disaster preparedness. All right, they keep increasing this. Now I pulled this right off of the Florida Senate because they just changed the rules this year here in Florida. So if you're in Florida, pay attention. The legislature created a 14 day disaster preparedness sales tax holiday this year. It runs from May 28th to June 10th. So you get two weeks to both go out and be prepared. So there is no reason for anybody not to be prepared for hurricanes, all right? Some examples of a tax-free items includes like flashlights and lanterns and all this kind of different stuff, all right? This also, this holiday also includes a number of items created to the safe evacuation of your household pets. Now I'm gonna list off some of these things that are on here. You can get this information right on the Florida website and um, your reusable ice, like your ice packs and stuff, $20 or less, tax free. Any portable self powered light source, candles, flashlights, lanterns, $40 or less, tax free. Any gas or diesel fuel containers, including LP and kerosene containers, batteries, including rechargeable batteries, and the listed size below, AA, AAA, C, D, 6, and 9 volt. Radios, powered by battery, solar or hand crank, two-way radios, and weather band radios. $50 or less, all tax-free. Coolers and ice chests for storage, you know, non-electrical, and power, uh, portable power banks, $60 or less, tax-free. Bungee cords, ground acres, ratchet straps, uh, tarps, tie-down kits, plastic sheeting, a plastic drop cloths, and other flexible waterproof sheetings, $100 or less tax-free. That's pretty good. Portable generators, um, $1,000 or less. And there's a list here of stuff that is always exempt. All right, bottled water. Canned food, including meats, vegetables, fruits, peanut butter, and other non-perishable items. First aid kits, prescriptions and non-prescription medication, baby food and formulas. And so as you can see, Florida does this upright. All right, folks, it's just the way it should be. 
people should be given the chance to be able to save a little money on the tax in. It's not going to kill the freaking states. I mean, Florida can do it for two weeks. And these other states are getting hit more often now than Florida is. But Florida wants everybody to be prepared. So why can't the other states follow suit? At least extend it out for at least a week. I mean, come on. It just doesn't make any sense. Number one, you have the high inflation right now. All right. It's another reason why you probably want to start preparing now. And before these tax holidays hit, you don't know what's going to be left. All right. And how much more it's going to go up between now and then is a tax break really going to be enough to take a chance on not getting the product, which leads me to the shortages. We all know about all the shortages that have been taking place on a lot of different products and everything else. And as you start to have people start to prepare for hurricane season, it's going to be more shortages in the stores. So if you're waiting until those tax times, you might not get what you want. You may want to go ahead and buy it now and just eat the tax. Unless you're looking to, let's say, buy a big ticket item as a generator or something like that. And then you may want to take a chance on, you know what, I'll just wait and uh, we'll take it from there and see what happens and see if we can get us a generator because that's where you're going to save a lot of money. All right. Number three, preparedness. You have to be prepared when it comes to hurricanes. I have a whole playlist on my channel on just hurricane preparedness. I cover all different types of things and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of people that are moving to Florida and you've never been through a hurricane. I highly suggest you go in and watch some of that playlist. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to ask questions. You can always email me, whatever else. That's all in the description below and I'll do my best to get back to you with any of your questions. Planning. Now planning is a huge, huge deal. You have to plan to be without power for up to, if not longer than two weeks. I would say you plan on two weeks and if it lasts longer, well, you know, you may want to have some backup supplies to take you out past two weeks. But hopefully by then, they'll get the power and stuff back on. We were without power for five days um, here a few years ago. So, you know, I mean, it can happen. You want to make sure that you are doing what you can, but you have to make sure you have a plan. You have to know what your plan is and how you're going to execute your plan, which leads me into number five, evacuations comes to a point where depending on where you live, how close you are to the water, at that point you have to make a decision how big the storm is and you have to make a decision on where it's going to hit. Where is the worst winds going to be? How is that located from your house to where impact is going to be? Typically, you'd like to try to stay in your home. If the storm is too strong, you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you have an evacuation plan and evacuations are very critical. Now we've all seen on the TVs and everything else when they issue these evacuation routes. Yes, if you're on an island or something else, you may only have one or two ways off that island. But if you're not, you want to make sure that you know other routes besides the main routes because that's the way everybody's going to be going. And it's not going to be a fun thing, folks. So if you really think about this, all right, early preparedness for hurricane season this year might be in your benefit. At least start getting some of the products now that you can still get before they go up, before they're not there because of shortages, which means you're prepared, you're doing your planning ahead, and you're always thinking about how you're going to exit. Stage left if things really start to go bad. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd really like to thank everybody for watching the video today. There's going to be a few more videos on the hurricane side coming up here. I want to make sure that people are staying aware and prepared. All right. We have to thrive to survive, folks. 
So we have to make sure that in the end, we control our own destiny. And with hurricanes, the best thing about them is you know when they're coming. You can see the forecast. You get a warning. It's not like a tornado or anything else. You have a warning and then you have time to make a decision on what you want to do and how you're going to execute it. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe. Keep prepping. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.